The barber has trimmed my hair very well. My hair looks neater. Adi, is this line okay for you? That's fine. Thank you, Anne. Joey Meng can see himself in front of the mirror. He can also see the back of his head from the mirror which the barber is holding. Why do you think this happens? Think about this. Let's do an activity. You are given a mirror, a torch, and a piece of white paper. Stick the piece of paper onto a wall. Put the mirror on the floor in front of the paper like this. Now, we will switch on the torch. Make sure the classroom is dark so we can see the light from the torch clearly. Shut all the doors and windows and switch off all the lights. Switch on the torch and shine the light at the mirror like this. What do you observe? What happens to the light when it hits the mirror? Key in your answer in the given space. Then click check. The light is reflected when it hits the mirror. The light from the torch travels in a straight line and hits the mirror. The light is then reflected and changes direction. It bounces in another direction, like this. When light bounces off an object, it is called reflection. This is the ray diagram that shows the reflection of light. We can see ourselves in a mirror because light can be reflected. How do you think this happens? Discuss this with your friends. Then click check answer. When it is dark, we cannot see objects around us. We can't even see ourselves or other people. When there is light from a light source, we can see the objects around us. This is because the light falls on the objects and is reflected to our eyes. Therefore, when you stand in front of the mirror, the light that falls on you travels in a straight line to the mirror. The light hits the mirror and is reflected. The reflected light changes direction. It bounces back to your eyes. When the light reaches your eyes, you can see yourself in the mirror. Things that we see in the mirror are called images. Reflection of light can be shown with ray diagrams. Now, Let's do another activity to show that light is reflected. Then we can draw ray diagrams to see the reflection of light. You will need a mirror, a torch, a piece of drawing paper, some mounting tape, a ruler and a pencil. First, push a table towards the wall. Then, tape the mirror securely to the wall. Next, put the paper on the table in front of the mirror, like this. Now, one person needs to place the torch at an angle. Make sure the torch is held steadily. Then, another person can start drawing the ray diagram. 
trace the path of light on the paper like this. Draw an arrow on the path of light from the torch. Draw another arrow on the path of light after it is reflected. These arrows are used to show where the light travels. You can also place the torch at different angles. You can also use other objects that reflect light. An object with a smooth, hard and shiny surface is a good reflector of light. Then, draw the ray diagram to show the reflection of light at each angle. Reflection of light is very important in our daily lives. Think of some examples that show reflection of light being used. Discuss this with your friends. Then click on each photo to see. Inche Ahmad is driving. He wants to move to the right hand lane. How do the mirrors on his car help him to go to the right lane safely? Discuss this with your friends. Then click check answer. Inche Ahmad can only move to the right hand lane when there is no car approaching from behind on that lane. He can look into his right side view mirror. The mirror can show the reflection of a car approaching from behind. This way, he does not need to turn his head to move to the right hand lane safely. Have you seen this mirror before? Do you know what it is used for? Discuss this with your friends. Then click on the mirror. At a sharp bend on a road, it is difficult for drivers to see oncoming cars. Without this mirror, cars from both directions might not be able to see one another. When this happens, the cars may run into one another and collide. The mirror is placed at a point on the road to help drivers. It is called a reflector mirror. Drivers can look at the reflector mirror to see oncoming cars. Therefore, accidents may be prevented. We go to dentists to have our teeth checked. However, it is difficult to see the inner side of our teeth. What can a dentist use to check the inner side of our teeth? Discuss this with your friends. Then click on the dentist. This mirror is called a dental mirror. A dentist can use the dental mirror to check the inner side of our teeth easily. This is a periscope. A periscope is used to see things where the eyes cannot reach. It lets you see things around obstacles like walls and corners. Look at this picture. The naval officer is using a periscope to see what is on the surface of the water from the submarine. Now, Let's find out how a periscope works. Click on the periscope to see. This is an example of a simple periscope. A simple periscope consists of a tube 
and two mirrors. The two mirrors are at each end of the tube. The mirrors are arranged parallel to each other. The angle of each mirror is 45 degrees from the wall of the tube. Each mirror is facing each opening of the periscope. Let's look at how Ashok uses the periscope to see the books on the highest shelf. He holds the periscope this way, so the higher opening is facing the books. He looks through the other opening to see the books. Now, draw a ray diagram to show the reflection of light in a periscope. Click on the pencil, then drag the pencil to draw the ray diagram. Click check answer when you have finished. The light from the books travels in a straight line to mirror A. The light is then reflected and travels to mirror B. When the light hits mirror B, it is reflected and travels to Ashok's eyes.